Hey people, it's your maths teacher here today and today we're going to be looking at angles in quadrilaterals quadrilaterals yeah okay so does anybody know what a quadrilateral is well no okay well a quadrilateral is basically a four-sided shape so it's any four-sided shape so a square is a quadrilateral a rectangle is a quadrilateral a kite is a quadrilateral a rhombus a trapezium all those shapes are quadrilaterals okay now we're going to look at angles in quadrilaterals what do angles in quadrilaterals add up to well let me use my typing ability uh where is it now uh, text and i want to put it here so uh, no it's not even working all right then well i'll just have to write it down then well angles in quadrilaterals laterals quadrilaterals that should be a t um add up to 360 degrees okay so angles in quadrilateral guys they add up to 360 degrees lovely so um when working out um or when solving problems that have to do with angles in quadrilateral for example you may be given this sort of shape uh, uh, so it's just a four-sided shape okay and let's say this is 60 this is 50 this is uh just for the sake of it, just saying this is 120 or whatever. And then we need to work out what this angle is here. Okay. So we need to work out what this angle is here. What is this angle? Okay. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to add up all the angles that we do have. We're going to add them up first. So we've got um, 120, 50 and 60. It's going to give us 0, 2, 7. 13 carry the one over that's going to be a two so we're going to get 230 okay um and then what we're going to do we're going to take that away from 360 because we know that the total has to be 360 so 360 take away 230 let's see what it gives us so zero take away zero zero six take away three is three and three take away two is one so therefore this angle is going to be 130 okay lovely let's do uh one more example uh, so again let's have this oh gosh it's a four-sided shape so it's still a quadrilateral that's all you need to know so we've got this angle here we've got this angle here we've got this angle here and we've got this angle here so let's say this is 150 and let's say this is uh, 40 and let's say this is let's say this is uh, 70 okay so again we're gonna and we need to find this one so again we're gonna add these three up together so 150 plus 40 plus 70 Let's see what we get. We're going to get Z hole. 5 plus 4 gives us 9. 9 plus 7 gives us 16. So 1 here. This is the 6 there and the one little one there. So 1 plus the 1 down here is going to give us 2. So 260. And then we're going to do 360 take 260. And that is actually 100. Okay. So this angle here would be 100 degrees. So I forgot to put the degree sign on there. Okay. And now we have um, special cases. So for some quadrilaterals, I'm not going to go for all of them, but for example, a square and a rectangle that basically look like this. Uh, 
a square and a rectangle they all have all the angles are equal that's meant to be my square all the angles are equal in uh, on a square and a rectangle okay um, who knows what angle that is meant to be that is giving that squared shape it's actually 90 degrees okay so 90 degrees is given like like that okay so in a rectangle of square we've got all the angles are 90 degrees so we've got 90 here 90 there 90 there 90 there does that add up to 360 let us see so let's do 360 times 4 oh i mean oh, i just done the wrong thing didn't i uh no 90 times 4 i should be doing uh all right pen's messed up again because it likes to do that so we've got um 90 and times four okay so four times zero is going to give us zero and four times nine is going to give us 36 okay so yes it does add up to 360 okay as well so that's the cases for um rectangles and squares and obviously you've got or oh, you've got other special cases um so, such as um with kites and other quadrilaterals but i won't go through them today I, today i just really wanted to go over finding um just finding um just finding um angles in not just normal qu normal quadrilateral so just giving you the tools and giving you the understanding that all angles add up to all the sum of angles in quadrilaterals add up to 360 so if you're given three angles you should be able to find the missing one okay well guys i hope you enjoyed that and i hope you understood that um i will probably go through the proof of um angles in quadrilaterals add up to 360 or if i find a very very good video that shows it very very nicely i'll just direct you to that to that particular video okay so thank you guys for tuning to pause maths lab and i'll see you guys later